Hi, how's it going everyone? If you're watching this video, I'm quite sure you're struggling to defeat normal mode. It's completely fine. I also struggled quite a fair bit. I took about 20 over runs before I beat the game. I have zero chess knowledge, zero positional knowledge. All I know is how the chess pieces move. So it can be quite challenging. But overall, after playing 20 over runs, I kind of get a sense of how the game works and I have some tips to share with you guys. So I will share the most important tips first. The most important tip is this is a chess game. You need to checkmate in order to win. So defeating the king is priority. Defeating the pawns and the other units is not that important unless you are in danger of getting killed. So your priority is king. And what is most important is reducing king's health. So what I've done here in this run where I won the game was reducing the king's health by taking Sato poison, king and queen minus one HP. The second buff I took was retro dagger. So white king minus three HP. Even though I get minus one range, it is fine. Minus 3 HP is much more important because minus 3 HP takes out a big chunk of the king's health and now we don't have to take about 3 to 4 shots to kill the king. We only need to take 2 shots to kill the king if you are kind of like middle range or close range. So that is very important allowing us to just checkmate him immediately and win the game. The next most important factor to win the game is getting unjust decree because the king allows you to right click to fire all loaded shells and you get minus one firepower, not that important. You can actually get some firepower down the line to kind of compensate that. But the most important part is being able to right click and fire all loaded shell. So firing all loaded shell just allows you to hit the king and instantly kill him. So this is very important. Not take too many turns because once you take a few shots, other people can advance on you. The enemy can just checkmate you. There's a possibility. What you want to do is you want to strike first, kill the, the king and win the game and not let other people strike you. The third most important factor is extra barrel. So this gives you an additional barrel. Instead of shooting twice, you can shoot three times and with unjust decree, you can fire three shots in one click. And this is very important because this allows you to guarantee a kill on the king and at the same time, you can just wipe out entire units in front of you immediately. So because sometimes by the late game, there's a lot of pawns protecting the king and using this, you can just immediately unload your three charges and you just wipe out the entire pawns that are standing in front of you. And then you can just fire at the king and you just win the game. So these three factors are the most important factors. And there are a couple more important factors that I feel that you should take note of. Another factor is increasing your firepower because a lot of these good benefits also comes with some small debuff in that sense because like you can see that unjust decree right reduces your firepower so you can see that unjust decree here minus one firepower so you need to find ways to compensate for that right because being able to unload all your shells is great but then if you have low power there's no point in that right so you want to increase your firepower so what it took to offset that was blunderbuss so you can see that blunderbuss plus two firepower so I just decree minus one, but blunderbuss adds plus two firepower. So we are up by one. We are not down by one. So this allows us to hit for about five power. So that is very powerful, isn't it? Being able to unload two rounds and then we are dealing 10 damage in total. We can wipe out anything that is in front of us. Another important factor is also restricting the queen's movement. So getting subtle poison was very, very useful because Kings and Queen minus 1 HP, that is important. But the most important part here is also Queen's movements are limited to one square for 15 turns. Queen is probably one of the most powerful units, being able to move up, down, left, right, diagonal, like where, wherever distance it can go on the board. And that is very, very powerful. And Queen can checkmate you very easily. And by restricting her to one square, that really helps a lot for a amateur you know for a noob that doesn't know anything about chess at all that doesn't know positional strategy i don't know how to position myself to escape whatever checkmate i try my best you know the, the shield of folly really helps me a lot but overall i lost a lot because of my poor knowledge but this helps a lot if you are a lousy chess player or a noob and for all those players who have absolutely no knowledge about chess i can give you one tip that was very useful for me was to never stand by the corner i realized once i hit the corner the sides I always get checkmate for some reason. I think there are some strategy out there that I, I remember watching Hikaru's uh, chess video before and, and they mentioned about sides are not that great because when it comes to checkmating, a lot of the AI, what they do is that they try to push you to the corner. Once you go to the corner, you are out of moves. You can't move to the right anymore. They can just checkmate you very easily. So avoiding sides are very important. Corner sides increases the chances of you getting checkmate. And that is what I experience. I always lose when I stand aside. 
so never stand at the side if possible so these are all the tips i want to share with you guys all these buffs that i took and all these moves that i make actually helped me win normal mode so now we are going to try and defeat hard mode and stay tuned for more gameplays and hopefully i can defeat hard mode and share with you how to defeat hard mode <laughs>